Hello, my name is Sean DeMint with Photo Solutions Market, and this is another tutorial video for the next series located at photosolutionsmarket.com. And today we are going to be talking about the new Shark full collection from the next series. Uh, with this collection, you're going to have multiple different options uh, if you buy the full collection. Uh, you can buy these all individually, but this is for the full collection. Uh, so you're going to see all of the different options that we have, and you will notice that the same theme does run throughout the entire collection. So that way it gives you the opportunity to make more items uh, that all match for your photo day. So let's go through some of these real quick. Uh, the first one we have in the collection is our individual. This is going to be great for uh, player banners, for posters, for prints. Uh, you can obviously take off the text if you wanted to use it just as a background to go behind your images. And on all of these, uh, all of these two, three ratio templates, uh, you're going to see these guides. And if you haven't already seen the other collections in the next series, uh, you'll notice that these guides are in specific spots. And the first guide is the inside guide, which is going to be this line and this line, and that's going to show you where an 8x10 would be cropped. And then the second line, which is the ones below that, this is a 5x7, and then a full 2-3 ratio is going to be your entire canvas. So if you're doing anything from uh, prints all the way up to a four foot by six foot banner. Uh, this is going to work for you. And it's also going to allow you to make other designs uh, or other layouts using this design without having to format it or reformat it to fit other print sizes. So you can do a four foot by six foot banner, but then you could also do eight by 10 prints and you wouldn't have to change the file or render it out again. So that's gonna be the positives of the new next series and all of the next series uh, templates are gonna have those uh, guides in there. So, and, and also designed in the fact of an eight by 10 uh, option. So that is the individual. Uh, the next one we have is going to be the uh, individual memory mate and this is a new look that a lot of people are really liking uh, which has the team at the bottom and the player at the top with their name and again you see those same guides again so you would be able of course if you're going to do an 8 by 10 probably scoot this guy down a little bit um, but this would be uh, for that same layout and again it's got a little bit of different design to match up with the team uh, and that is the vertical memory mate then we also have the horizontal memory mate so you place your team in here and we'll actually be doing a demo at the end of this video on how to actually use this template change the colors and that kind of thing uh, all of the stuff from the next series and pretty much anything you see on photo solutions market is always color changeable so um, we will be going over how to do that in just a moment um, but this is also again you've got your 8x10 crop lines in there as well so then the next one we have is just for the team and that obviously is uh, got the same crop lines different layout of the design but you notice that the theme stays the same throughout as we go uh, and then the next one we have is our panoramics which people are really getting into panoramics now so we have our memory mate panoramic with our individual and our team and then we also have just a team panoramic and this obviously could be um, for just a couple of players or it could be for in this case we did uh, almost the, I think the entire team in here on this one so um, you can put more people on a panoramic that's one of those things people ask about is can we put more than 10 people on a panoramic you can you just want to stack them kind of like you would an extreme team um, so there's that and then uh, let's get into the demo here uh, and this is how the file is going to come to you. Obviously, we don't uh, release the actual images because those players are uh, just our samples, but we do put a silhouette in the spot that the players are going to go. So this makes it easy for you to work with. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put in our player. So we're going to select the player layer over in the layer palette. We're just going to select that layer and delete it. 
without clicking on anything else, we're going to come over to our images. And I've already actually put this together. You could be dragging these in one at a time into the canvas if you wanted to. Um, but this is going to be our individual. And we're going to make this a cheerleading. Because the, the nice thing about the shark design is it doesn't matter what sport it is. It could be anything. So it's going to be great for um, doing... Uh, this design throughout an entire school. So if you had multiple sports, they could all use the same design if they wanted to. So we've placed our individual image there, and now it's time to place our team. So we're going to go to the team layer. You could also come over and select it manually, and you'll see they're marked in red so you know which ones are the ones you're going to delete. We'll delete our team, <clears throat> and we're going to come over here and go ahead and select them. Now I have them all individual right now, and there's a reason for that. And I will show you that in just a second. Um, so we'll just go ahead and drag and drop these guys over here. <clears throat> and then we're just going to put them where we want to go. Like so. <clears throat> so the next step once we've applied this is we're going to go ahead and change the colors of the template. Okay, so as you can see, there's a little blue hue on these shapes, and all of these shapes are marked in blue. Uh, and to change the color of a shape, you can double click on the shape color, and you'll notice this one's set at white. We're going to go ahead and leave that because white is one of their colors. We're not going to do black because we already have black in the template, but we will notice that we have some other options over here in the uh, image properties. So we're going to come over here to our inner shadow, and that is where our blue is, is the inner shadow. So we're going to go ahead and change this, and if you have your color code for your team, I definitely recommend using that. Uh, for the quickness of this, we're just going to go ahead and color pick, but again, I do not recommend color picking uh, to get an exact color uh, of your team. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And just so that I keep everything the same, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this color code. again get your color code for your team they're out there um, I know you can find those so we're gonna go ahead and just grab a color that we like go ahead and apply that and we're gonna come down to the other white bars and go ahead and do the same thing we still have the inner shadow over there on that one and that's done now we're gonna do our blue bars and this is actually going to be an actual color. So you can see it's actually blue. So we're going to go ahead and paste in our orange. And we're going to go ahead and come over here to this one. Double click on the icon. Paste in our orange color there. And now it's time to move on to the names. So we have our last name here. This one has an inner shadow. Go ahead and paste our color in there and the word sharks is an actual text color so you just go to your character palette tape paste your text color in there and now it's time to actually edit our text so we're just going to go ahead and you can either use the text tool and highlight and we'll do that first and i'll show you the next way to do it in a second so these guys are the rays and if you don't like how short it is for example this was shorter than the word sharks you can always stretch it out and of course I'm trying to keep everything within that 8 by 10 area there too and okay so for like for example for Ponta Vedra um, you could just double click on the text icon and that's gonna highlight that and allow you to put this in here and then you just type Now you notice that this was a little bit too wide, um, and that is because we have our width between text, uh, between letters, uh, set at 500. So we can just bring that down. Um, we'll bring it down to 250. That shrunk it down, and you can also free transform that larger if you'd like. Then we'll come down to our name, and we're just going to go ahead and change her name. And you notice it went a little bit past there, so we'll just free transform that. That's a control T on a PC. Get it in between those. 
and there we go. Now, if you did want to come in here and change the word Ashley to a different color, obviously we just take our text color and change it to orange. So there we go. All of the templates are that easy to change the colors on, uh, but we did miss one thing. And you're probably asking yourself, can I change the background color for smoke? Yes, you can. All we do is come down to that layer, do a color overlay, select that color, paste our orange in there, and voila, we're ready. That's how quick it is to use. Now, the last thing is, if you want to get real technical about this, these people need some kind of a, either a shadow or a reflection of the floor on this one. So in this one, what we're going to do is I'm just going to do a shadow. <clears throat> so we're just going to select all of our cheerleaders. I'm just going to duplicate the layer. Go ahead and I did that with a control J. I'm going to go ahead and put those all together, merge them together, control E. And then we're just going to bring this behind all of the other players. Then we'll double click on this, go to our blending options, do a color overlay of black. We'll probably make it a little lighter than black. And then to make this work completely the way we want to, we'll go ahead and rasterize our layer style at this point. So now it's just a silhouette. If I take away somebody, you'll see what I'm talking about right there. And we're just going to free transform that layer. Go ahead and bring it down. And once you're in the free transform, if you come up and click on this, it will allow you to grab and bring up these other spots. And we want them to be a little bit below where they are so that it looks like a shadow below their feet. There we go. Go ahead and apply that. Now the only thing left you need to do is do a blur. So we go up to filters, go to blur, and a field blur. You can also use a Gaussian blur. And we're just pretty much going to blur this out. Go ahead and hit OK. Let it do its thing. And now we can go ahead and lower our opacity down. And now we have a nice shadow. Now if you wanted to make that darker, like we didn't like how dark that was, we could always come in and do a color overlay. And make it darker. So there we go. And one last thing, if you did want to do a, a, a reflection, one quick way to do a reflection is we would come in, grab a player, duplicate their layer. On the one below it, we're just going to do a free transform, flip it vertical, bring it down. Go ahead and line up those feet. lower our opacity down to where it looks like a shadow. And then all we have to do is rasterize our layer and use a nice soft brush and just brush across and get that nice gradient up. So you can see we've got that shadow there. So you can do both. You can do both the shadow and you could also do just the reflection. So in this case, I think the reflection would probably look better. And for the sake of time, I'm not going to go through all of them. But uh, you can see it's pretty much that simple to do a reflection at the bottom. I'll just bring that up. There we go. So that is the new next design, the shark collection and the, that is available at photosolutionsmarket.com either as a full collection or as individual templates. If you have any questions, again my name is Sean Dement with Photo Solutions. Give me a call 904-348-0123 or send me an email at support at photosolutionsmarket.com. 
If you have anything, just let me know. If not, have a great day, and I hope you enjoy the new Shark Collection from the next series.